Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, your boy Vertus here and in today's video I wanted to show you guys how we can start setting up our action bar for our RPG game. Now the reason why I want to focus on this action bar and the player's heads up display over the next few videos is because as of right now we've started making some abilities, for example we've got the heal ability where the player's hand goes up in the air with the animation, it spawns a crazy particle effect and it increases the player's health but the player is not going to know which button to press to activate that ability and we're also not going to know when it's available to use, how much mana you know they've got ready and all of that good stuff. So what I've done is I've created this basic heads up display here inside of Photoshop and that's going to be something that we're going to be implementing into our Unreal Engine 4 RPG game. Now in today's video I'm going to focus entirely on just getting this action bar here and then from there once we've got this action bar done we can actually start implementing some little icons and then attach that to each one of those abilities along with a number so the player is going to have one on the first one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten going all the way up there so they know exactly which buttons they've used for each one of their abilities. Now, we're always going to be able to move these abilities around later on using the key bindings. It's really simple and really easy to do, but most importantly, let's go ahead and start getting this heads up display in today's video. Now, like I said, I'm going to get the action bar in. I'm also going to be putting in this XP bar. However, at the moment, this isn't really going to be live. We haven't got an XP system in place yet but we are just going to be getting this bottom half into the game. Now if you haven't already downloaded it, go ahead and download the project files in the link in the description. Inside of here you can see I've got some of the HUD assets, so I've got the action bar empty file here, um, you know I've got the XP bar and some player stuff, there's going to be loads more added to this as we go throughout the series, but make sure you do download it and we can start importing it into the engine. Now, if you remember, earlier on in the series, we created a basic heads up display for the character. We just had the two project bar, uh, two progress bars that go from left to right for the player health and the player mana, and you can see those move. Now, we are going to replace the, be replacing those in the next video. But because we've already got these and we've already created it, we can use the same blueprint widget for this heads up display. So we're just going to be putting in these graphical elements into there. So what you want to do is open up your blueprints folder and then just open up your RPG HUD widget. And inside of there you're going to have your two progress bars. And now what I'm going to do with these two progress bars as soon as it has loaded up I'm just going to be moving them over to the top left like I have done here and then that way I've made space for my action bar, my XP bar and all of that good stuff. So going back outside of Photoshop once again I am simply just loading up the, you know, the widget blueprint. It's taken a little while because my computer is a bit slow but now it's opened up. So let's drag it on and then from here like I said what I'm going to do is simply move these little widgets over to the top left just like this. All the way up to the top left and I'm just going to drop them there and I'm also going to anchor these to the top left as well just so they stay there. And now from here what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drag in a bunch of images and these images are essentially going to be each one of these action bar slots. Now you are going to want uh, 9 of these in total, maybe 10, it's up to you. Um, you know, so that way if you have 1 through 9 on the keyboard you can use that and then you can keybind the 10th one to 0, it's entirely up to you. But you are going to need quite a few of these, so just drag in 10 for now. That's basically how many player abilities my player is going to have anyway is 10. So let's count these out, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And then we need two more, one, two, three, four, ten. Cool. So what I've got to do now then is I've actually got to set the brush appearance to these action bar slots. So what I've got to do is grab my little folder here with my you know action bar empty image and then I'm simply just going to import it into the engine. Now I don't want to drag it directly in. What I do want to do however is I want to make a new folder for you know my HUD asset so I know everywhere you know exactly where everything's going to be and it's all tidy. So I'm going to right click in my folder inside of blueprints and I'm just going to create a new folder called HUD assets. And then inside of here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just import my action bar empty into here and that will import in straight away. And I'm also going to import my XP bar underscore fill and underscore no fill as well so we can implement those. So we've got these three images. Let's start off by setting the ones for the action bar. So in your content browser, select the one for your action bar, 
open this up and then select your first image and simply just press use selected asset from content browser and this is going to bring it in here. Now bear in mind it's a bit of an odd proportion at the moment so we need to set the height equal to the width as well. So what we're going to do is simply set this to something maybe like 50 by 50. How does that look? Um, I personally think that's a bit too small so maybe let's try 75 by 75 and that looks a bit more reasonable. Um, what I'm going to do is quickly press play just so that we can actually see it in the scene inside of our game so we can see roughly you know what what it's going to look like and then one thing we also need to keep in mind when we're doing graphical elements is are we going to be able to fit 10 of these on the screen and i think that's not going to be a problem now i think it's a bit too small still so i'm going to make this just ever so slightly bigger and i'm going to set this up to 100 by 100 and that'll do and then all i'm going to do is the same thing for each and every single one of these as we've got 10 of them so i'm just going to go one by one just setting the image and then setting the size and then after that I can work on placing these into my scene. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's all good. And now what I've got to do is just set the size to 100 by 100 and then just rinse and repeat. Do the same thing for each and every single one of these. And the default, you know, X for all of these seems to be 100, so I'm only really changing the Y, so hopefully this shouldn't take too much time at all. And then if we keep going, there's only a couple more left. And I can see quite quickly that maybe 100 by 100 is going to be too big because if I try and put these all side by side it's going to take up too much space so having taken that into consideration I'm going to maybe set these to 85 by 85 instead so there we go and that looks a bit more reasonable just go ahead and do the same thing for your X and your Y and then after that we can start working on the positioning so 85 85 just doing all of this from the details panel in the top right here as you can see we have got way too many of these and then keep going okay so only a couple more There we go, so that is all of these sized, so what we need to do now then is pretty much drag these to the bottom of our screen and just start aligning them. So what I'm going to do is I am going to place one in the center to start with and then I'm just going to go out from there. Now if I do this, so let's have a quick look, so we've dropped one dead in the center, actually no we don't want to have one in the center, what we want to do is maybe just put them in a line and then just move them afterwards. Now I'm not going to worry about the placement too much to be honest because we're not really going to be spending too much time on that. That's something that you guys can do. So just drag them in a little line a bit like this and I'm going to tidy them up after the video and I advise that you guys do the same thing as well. Just tidy them up but the important thing for now is simply going to be getting them in place and getting them ready for our icons that we are going to be working on over the next few videos. So drag it in there and they're not 100% centered but they are in my HUD so if I press play and you can see now that it's starting to resemble a heads up display action bar and that looks pretty good. Now the other thing that I promised you guys was showing you how to get the graphics in for the XP bar so we're going to quickly do that. That's a bit simpler it's just the one thing and that's just a pro uh, progress bar. And all I'm going to do with this progress bar is pretty much just set the style and set some images for background and then for fill as well. So for the background image, that is going to be our XP bar no fill. So drop that in there and then we are going to set the margins to zero. And then we're just going to stretch this out just like this to the width of our action bar. Just make it look nice and tidy and then drop it down there. And then for the fill image, just go ahead and do the same thing for this, so type in XP bar, and then the one that we are after is fill, set the margins down to zero, and then now if we set the percentage for the progress you can see it going up like this. 
However, currently we've got this fill color and opacity. We don't want this. So what we're going to do is set the opacity to one and then just set all of this to one just like that. And then you're going to see you get this purple shining through. And now with my percentage, I can move this up and down. You can see that we've now got our XP bar moving. Now, like I said, it's not attached to any variables. It's not live. So it's pretty much just going to sit exactly where it is. But if I press play, you can see we've got it in our scene and it looks really, really cool. So there's one other thing that I have above that, and that was simply my, you know, text for the player name. So I'm going to put that in there. But once again, it's not going to be live. It's just going to be static. But for now, let's drop the text in there. And we are simply going to give this the name Virtus underscore player. And then we're going to have another one which is just going to be the number for the level so level and let's just put 21 in there for now once again i want you guys to go ahead and tidy this up make it look tidy it's really simple but one thing that i will say you should do before i end off the video is anchor every single one of these down to the bottom center of your screen Anyway guys, that's pretty much everything for our action bar for now. We haven't added any icons yet, it's something we're going to do over the next few videos. And we're also going to be adding the functionality for, you know, progress bars on each icon. So when the icon is ready, it's going to show up like full in color. If it's sort of got a cooldown on it, we're going to be implementing that. But once again guys, thanks for watching, stay awesome, keep curating. Your boy Virtus, signing out. This series was made possible by you guys supporting me on Patreon. If you want to help create other series like this, then check out my Patreon page in the link in the description.